defensively, that'll be their main priority tonight. As it was in the first leg. So it certainly is advantage into Milan tonight, isn't it? But the Nerazzurri have never been eliminated after leading by two or more goals, heading into the second leg of a European Cup tie. Yet Benfica have scored two or more goals in four of their last six Champions League away games, including against Juventus back in September. Can they pull off a historic comeback? Kickoff at San Siro is coming on for this evening. Steve McManaman and Adam Summerton. Good evening to you both. Evening, Sima. Evening and historic. It seems made for nights like these. It looks and sounds fantastic. And historic. It seems made for nights like these. It looks and sounds fantastic. see Inter Milan taking many chances. Roger Smith at his side have to play in his words. Antonio Silva. The standards we've seen ordinarily from the, this season. Yes. Very central. Gonzalo Ramos arriving on the edge of the box. Box, it's over towards him. It was a very underwhelming performance. And on the back of the port, on different. Among the subs tonight, Copper Italia and Tina Lahoni. Touched by Benfica, Jean Mario, one of their best players this season. Martinez arriving in the box, Jekyll was already in there. Tracked by Varela, he isn't on Benfica's side. Inter have never lost a European Cup tie in which they've had a two goals to lead into to the final four of this competition. Go to the left, Jekyll to the right. Oh, it's Di Marco of the lost flame this morning, referring to Benfica's recent. How long they suffered in tandem as well over the best part of a deck. Auschnes cleared by Damia. Barella, can he get the shot off? He can! And he scored brilliantly! On the score sheet in Lisbon, he's done it again in Milan! Some finish there! 1 0 on the night to Inter, 3 0 on aggregate. Well, that effectively shuts down the game. Completely different goal. San Siro. That's all been dropped by... But who needs Edin Dzeko and Martinez? The way they're zipping it about here is then the pass for Di Marco. Doesn't... Dzeko calling for it on the edge of the box. Auschnitz. Rosovic. They can defend, we know that. But against the... Benfica started the game really well. <laughs> Pushed by Bastoni, who is the UEFA player of the match in the... No, it just doesn't happen, Benfica do not lose for... Florentino Luis. Their lead at the top of the Primera Liga, reduced to four points with six games left. It's Dzeko's header, but no. Auschnes. Honestly, they've got four. Wait for their moment. Easier said than done. He will take the corner. Bastoni was in there. That was a chap. Semi-final at his age. Grimaldo to try. Have to do. And now Di Marco. And they'll get a corner. Need from Gonzalo Ramos. Probably. Right He's very... I mean, Di Early crossing from him and Jacko's header into... the box as is the skipper Brozovic Di Marco to try again has it for Barella Di Marco Mkhitaryan this time thankfully for Blackademos he gets it the and here look at the number of players on the edge of the box Martinez to aim that in the middle it's over towards Lautaro Martinez <laughs> now the whistle goes it isn't going to count aims to rub shoulders with says he has a great Good run here by Grimaldo, but Damian was there for Inter. Inter with plenty back, Jan Mario, Gonzalo Ramos couldn't... Uh, heading to Spain, 2-2 with Sevilla from the first leg at Old Trafford, those two late goals. 
Jacko brought that to defend this. The header on target, stooping header. You're right, you might as well take a chance. Jack Al Smith is in there and gets the goal. The gives Benfica hope. Fantastic header there. How they needed a lifeline, Roger Smith did. And now they've got one. Yeah, and I'm eulogising over the back five of Inter Milan, and suddenly the gaps appear. Ausnes is there. Otamendi. Jacko. Brozovic is in space. João Mario. The header in, and now it's getting interesting. Header from Auschnes has given Benfica some renewed belief. has gone back to right back but it's certainly there is so wait and see but roger smith morella and chevy was in there circumstances to tottenham can he inspire a comeback here goes on the outside he's done well antonio silva otamendi there before jacko five make it nervy at san siro Done well here, Lautaro Martinez, the shot was on. Mario with a good run forwards. And he had Gonzalo Ramos arriving in the box, but that's just the sort. Two into more to think about, Otamendi's header, and Auschnes was there again. Now, what's he brought down? Some appeals from the Benfica players, the referee was quick to wave it away. Chiquinho did... Jacko with the header. Chiquinho. Damian did well. Martinez, and he thinks Inter have got away with one. Yeah. That gives him the his Ramos. Came off Damian. Really needs to come to the fore, though. Rafa Silva couldn't find David Neres. Grosso, Eto, Melito, and Pandem. As they get a crucial goal to get back in front here on the night. That may well seal the deal. Di Marco so influential. And Lautaro Martinez hits the perfect moment to end his drought. His first goal in nine games. And they know how big that one is. Correa. And still Correa. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, my word. Only just off the bench. And he goes and does that. And Inter now are cruising through to the semi-finals. Five to go. That's San Siro. Got another one here, Benfica. Such a well-flighted ball there. And they keep going to the very end here. It was Otamendi, Ronaldo. Oh, and Otamendi was in there, oh. and they've equalised right at the end. Well, what about this? In the fifth minute of added time, it's Musa, one of the substitutes. Yeah, what's the matter with তদন্ত পর্যন্ত আপনি এই সাসার এই সাসা যে কত বড় এই ধরনের চাচাগুলো আছে আমাদের হেলপ এই যে যারা হেল্প করে ব্রোকার টাইপসের এরা যে কত বড় মারাত্মক আপনি যে মানে যেদিন আপনি বিদেশে গিয়ে এরকম বিপদে পড়বেন সেদিন বুঝতে পারবেন এর আগে বুঝতে পারবেন না আমি দেখি যে বাংলাদেশের মানুষ এক নাম্বার হচ্ছে ধর্মান্